WhatsApp team, this designer is angry because I found out why my videos have been not recording properly. And that's because whenever I press spacebar, I'm accidentally stopping the recording. So whenever I need to make commentary on the video that I'm recording or reacting to, I accidentally stop the recording at the same time, which is very annoying. But because I'm running out of time now, I'm just going to go through the summary of the Photoshop updates. Okay. And I have seen some good stuff so far, but just to make things simple, because I've just wasted so much time already, we're going to just go through the summary. So here we go. Cloud documents. Some Adobe Creative Cloud features, blah, 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 blah. Don't need to read that. Cloud documents are Adobe Cloud native files that you have, blah, 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 blah. I kind of doesn't fully apply to me. Although I think it's got some purpose. Saving your creative work on a cloud document provides you with exclusive benefits. Okay, so at my current job, we use Google File Stream, and that basically is our way of syncing everything to a cloud, including all our files. And this, to me, it doesn't serve too much purpose because we do everything through Google Drive. But yeah, I think uh, for some people, it might be pretty helpful. So let's quickly just read the benefits of uh, cloud documents. So number one, seamlessly access files, files across devices. So you can access your work from anywhere. Cool. Uh, use one file across products, keep your files up to date and safe, and you can work offline. Interesting. Cool. Uh, improvement to presets. Is this another app thing? No. Oh, this is the wind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, presets are now reimagined. Reimagined to bring a whole new experience at the latest release of Photoshop. So, okay, I haven't heard of this one yet. So, this is the first time hearing of this. And from the little screenshot here, it looks pretty interesting. I like how it's got all these different textures and shapes and, and uh, organized swatches. I don't know if that's going to be like that for everyone or if that's just their organized uh, lists. But let's see what, what it says about that. So from the menu bar, go to window, swatches, gradients, patterns, shapes, or styles. You now get new modern default presets like gradients, patterns, shapes, and styles. Dedicated panels for gradients, patterns, and shapes. Ability to manage your presets by organizing them into group. Simply drag and move the presets to rearrange and reorder within the panels. Now, this I did get to see a bit of when I was watching the video, but because it wasn't re because it wasn't recording properly, you're not going to be able to see that reaction where I almost flipped over my laptop like that. Awesome. This is probably one of the best new releases for Photoshop. It's the object selection tool. It makes select subject a hundred times more easy and it just simplifies the process. Like you can get into all those little nooks and crannies and just select things almost perfectly. Uh, whereas in the previous version, it took a little bit longer, just a little bit, just a little bit. So yeah, the cool thing about this is you can just basically do a selection around whatever you want uh, to be selected and um, it does it straight away. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if they're going to mention uh, remove backgrounds here because that was another feature that I saw. No, I just, just can't see that. But uh, yeah, so one of the other features was this whole uh, remove background thing, which just totally removes the whole, uh, well, totally simplifies the process of, of um, removing something from the background, which used to take a really long time. Like before you used to have to lasso and go around each little individual pixel. And then eventually we got select subject and then uh, you could remove the background from that by creating a mask. But now there's simply just a button that's just remove background. Now anyone could be a designer, really.
I mean, that's like one of the main things that people want to do is remove backgrounds from photos. So, yeah, and if the technology like that just keeps getting better, then will we have need for things like green screens, you know? Um, okay, moving on. We have consistent transform behavior. So what's this all about? Now you can proportionally transform multiple layers without having to press the shift key. This was this was more a bit of a like a confusing one for me. I remember they 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 got rid of the whole shift thing from the last update. And this that that kind of just really confused a lot of designers and Photoshop users. Um, I don't know why they did that. I guess, or oh, like now I'm used to this new one, so it's just a bit, I don't know. Anyways, <coughs> sorry, I'm just a bit sick at the moment. And I'm also growing a mustache for Movember. So if you like the mustache, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're enjoying these reactions and commentary so far, why don't you just hit the subscribe button while you're at it? So next up, we have improved properties panel. That's good because, uh, one thing that I noticed with the uh, the videos that I was watching re with regards to the latest updates was um, they finally fixed the whole align stuff. And whoops, I'm moving that around. Uh, Photoshop was previously terrible with aligning stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but you had to control A to select the whole thing and you try and align it to a different layer and it's just it doesn't it just never was really clear on what you were aligning to but this whole uh new property uh new properties thing uh makes things a lot better so um i haven't seen every new feature that's been added yet so let's have a read through this uh the document properties blah blah blah, blah. So there's quick actions there, so you can quickly go into image size. Um, I'm used to doing the shortcut or control I anyways, so it doesn't bother me too much. Uh -huh. Cool. Convert smart objects to layers. Cool. It's interesting. Enhance transform warp. Stylistic sets for open type fonts. Enhanced content aware for fill. Yeah, that stuff's good. That's always good. New shortcuts. Use the tilde key. It's toggle between painting and erase. Whoa, that's that's pretty good. I hated the whole like B, B, B and E when you can just press the tilde key. Wow, that makes things cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, zoom to a layer's contents. That was cool as well. I saw that in the video. Basically, you can alt click a layer and it will zoom into it in the actual document, which is really cool. So you can get up and close to the layer that you specifically want to edit. Good stuff. Rotate brush tip. Okay, so you can rotate the tip of the brush with the arrow keys. That's cool. Just gonna skip through these because we don't want to be spending too much time. But we're gonna we're gonna try and highlight the best stuff as we go through. Okay. Um, okay. Well, obviously these these pages aren't as detailed as some of the videos have been, but um, I think those are kind of like the main things that have been introduced into this latest version of Photoshop. So 
If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe. Did you guys enjoy this video? If you did, don't forget to leave a comment. For my reaction video to Illustrator and InDesign updates, click over here. And if you want to watch another one of my videos, click down here. I hope you enjoyed this video very much and I'll see you in the next one.